So we're about to go into JE Ranch because we love their beef jerky. Well, goat jerky. Yeah. And to explore more about their cattle and, well, goats. So let's go. from J.E. Hello. Hello. Um, what is the history of the ranch? So the history of the ranch is it homes, or was established in 1904 here in Coldfast, Saskatchewan. And, and it's only 115 years old. 115 years old, you're exactly right. Um, and it started out with grain and livestock and we have since moved away from grain but we still ranch on a daily basis. <laughs> Uh, we, my husband and I would be, I believe, sixth generation. So, and then our kids will be the up and coming next generation after us. There's a white and a dark, they're husband and wife. And they just, they almost protect the farm. How has ranching changed since J.E. Ranch started? Well, they used to do everything by hand, and they used to use animals, so draft horses and stuff like that. So big pretty fast and they've stuck around um, ever since. I'm scared. Of what? The goats? Yeah, kind of. They'll probably run away as soon as you What are the different kinds of go goats you have? We have uh, meat goats, so they're a boar and a Spanish cross, so we have some cashmere and angora as well. And we crossbreed those to um, create a super hardy goat that can withstand all the elements in the weather here in Saskatchewan. We have one random sheep over there wandering around. <laughs> what do the goats eat? Goats eat hay um, in the winter that we make for them. And they, uh, so in the summer they're out at pasture and eating all sorts of grasses, alfalfa, weeds, buckbrush, anything green and lush that they can get their, their little mouths on. Is it true goats can eat almost anything? They do eat a wide range of, of uh, plants, that's for sure. They know what's poisonous and they will stay away from that, so that's, that's really handy. Um, but yeah, they eat quite a bit of things. Besides the meat, what other products come from the goats? Uh, you can have a dairy goat, so you can get milk from it, or um, some breeds, you can raise them for their hair coats and use their fibers to create different products. Do you have any crazy goat stories? Crazy goat stories? <laughs> um, not really, to be honest. We did have one time, there was a big storm kind of going through here, and we looked out the window and there was this thing standing on one of the shelters and we couldn't figure out for the life of us what it was. Well, here it was a goat standing 10 feet in the air, being the king of the farm. <laughs> yep. Do you know any goats you play on city kids? Not really. Um, some, my husband might have picked up a few goat turds and tried to tease you saying they were chocolate covered raisins, but my advice is to never not, accept chocolate covered raisins. I do not like chocolate here. covered raisins, raisins at all. Even anything covered with raisins, I don't like. 
but I do like rain. Do you have any? You also have Dexter cattle. What are they? We do have Dexter cattle. So they're just a, a low-line breed of cattle. They're just a little bit smaller. They're Irish Dexters, purebred, and they're super hardy and um, can withstand our winters as well. Social media has added to allow the world to see into different operations and see how farming is all over the world. Um, it has opened eyes and allowed people who don't experience farm life to get a chance to see what it's like. How do social media help? educates people, um, allows um, people who, again, don't have an opportunity to grow up or be on the farm to know what that lifestyle is like when you're ranching or, or um, putting grain in. You can see where your food comes from, what kind of processes and how it, you know, how things are grown and um, what's done to care for it. What other animals are good on farms besides sporting cattle? Um, well, on our farm we have horses and chickens, so then I have fresh farm eggs for all the kids to eat for breakfast. So this one sheep here, I'm trying to find that sheep. Still can't find it. Yeah, still can't find it. Can't find it. Can't find it. Thank you for joining us. Well, I really appreciated you guys coming out. It was tons of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun. <laughs>